They are twins. Ah, okay. Monkey. You know what to do? Senabu. Senabu. Bojang. Senabu. Ah, Elamiro for the mana. Hm? Okay. This one, yes, yeah, with the eye, you know. We'll be taking some antibiotics then. Then the swollen will go, go down. Yes. This one will all disappear. Okay. Mm -hmm. The annual budget for the hospital this year is about six million. That's just nothing. Because that includes the running of the hospital. It also includes salaries and allowances. It also includes the fuel for the generators. Because we are spending about a million and fifty thousand dollars for fuel alone. To run the generators is the biggest overhead that we have. This two consumes 12 liters per hour. So you're talking about uh, about nearly nearly $200 a day, and that is 10 hours. So you can see three generators all gone kaput. It is really a big nightmare. Okay, ban. Dini maisha kerebi, mahal na dina fes. Wana magogis, dafara niyo kum kum ki. We, we have to get another battery because only one battery has power. Uh, we're swapping the one that uh, is for the ambulance. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Uh, they came from Somita, it's a help post. Uh, they refer most of their cases that they cannot handle to this place. And they think we are the big brother. But we need to do laboratory investigations. And presently, there is no electricity. When you're healthy, you don't feel that you, you, it's not sunken in like that, OK? His is sunken in. That means he's lost a lot of weight, OK? So he's getting dehydrated, right? So we need to give him fluids. His heart rate's up to 122. I mean, he's really dehydrated. We need to give him a lot of fluid. Take a listen to his lungs. So I think he's got a pneumonia as well. We, we could check that here, but we don't have the electricity right now to run the x-rays. The child is a three-month-old baby. It has difficulty in breathing, and the doctor ordered for oxygen to be supplied for the whole day. Here, we don't have electricity. Uh, this is why we need to refer that child. It is going to take them one hour, 30 minutes before they reach at the hospital. Uh, the ambulance doesn't have any oxygen supply. The road is not good, the dust condition, and the child is having difficulty in breathing. The mother was in tears because it's not easy to live here to that place. All those things are going to affect the child. We are ready now. Oh yes, we are soon ready. We are ready for it. Yeah. Another long day for us, of, of endless, you know, frustration. Yeah, we're trying to do transfusion, but it's a problem. As you can see, the lights are blinking, you can't see. Um, it started since in the morning. Today, we did not even operate effectively because of this light problem. Right now, we have a patient with a very low HB. I want to do a blood transfusion. But it's not possible to collect a sample for transfusion. As you can see, we have a blood bank. The blood doesn't stay cool, and at the end of the day, the blood will not serve the actual purpose. Mm -hmm. um, these test kits will deteriorate. This one is operational, but it doesn't need much electric problem. As you can see, it's on. But right now, we have a patient who's supposed to go on the blood transfusion, but there's no way that we can do that. The HB is only 6.0 grams. 6.0 grams is very dangerous for that patient. Mm. But there's no way out for us only to wait till tomorrow. Is woman over here? I just saw her yesterday. We, we didn't know that she didn't have twins because we weren't able to do ultrasound at the time. So we didn't expect another baby to come out. But they both delivered very healthily and happy. She was very surprised to have twins. She didn't know she had twins either. 
This was also born this morning, yeah, sometime after her. The mother was in prolonged labor, but we had no clue about how the baby was doing because we, we didn't have electricity for an ultrasound and we didn't have the equipment that we needed to do fetal monitoring was showing some signs of life. It was moving its arms and taking some gas for air. But the other difficulty about not having electricity was that we, we do have an oxygen machine, but the generator was down. It's so precious, whether it's young or old, but it seems, it seems even more precious when it's, a, when it's a baby who never had the chance to live. We feel very, very sad when our loved ones or our patients that we care for so much you know, happens to, you know, die. It's very, very sad on our side. And it's something that we are fighting. We are battling it to make sure that we reduce it as much as possible. We are waging a war, a war against darkness. Darkness that will go away with sorrow. When the jewelers, the stock of heroes, is waging a war, they don't need any drumming. They need metallic pieces that are going to be beaten in rhythm with the flute. So that music it's a heroic music. Using the solar system, then the problem of lack of oxygen will not come in. The problem of lack of water supply will not come in. That sorrow is to make sure the hospital patients get the best. So it's a war.